Manchester United then take on West Brom at Hawthorns on Sunday on the back of that 1-0 victory over Watford. Uh, not the best of performances at all from Manchester United in that game against Watford. Uh, very, very fortunate to win that game. But it's four wins, I think, on the bounce now for Manchester United, which is fantastic. Uh, any wins, good at this stage of the season. And by hook or by crook, we got that victory, even though we didn't deserve to get it. So we move on. Hopefully we can get another victory at the Hawthorns. It's going to be very difficult going there. They're a very uh, well-organised team. Uh, Tony Pulis sets them up well and they're very difficult from, to beat, uh, especially at home for me. Uh, then, I mean, they're definitely going to stay up this season. Uh, going to probably languish around just below mid-table. Uh, so going into this game, they've got nothing to lose. Their fans are going to be right behind them. So it's going to be a real difficult game for Manchester United. Um, we won two games on the trot for the first time since November, which is really bad for Manchester United. But the form is gradually improving and Manchester City's form is decreasing. So they've lost three games on the spin in the Premier League. So it gives me a little bit of hope. I don't think we will get top four, but we still can go out there and try and win every game and just see where it takes us. Now, going into this game, we've seen uh, a couple of players come back from injury. Martial and uh, Damian both got minutes in that game against Watford which was really pleasing to see. I don't expect Darwin to start this game, but I would expect Martial again to continue out wide. Now, what would my starting lineup be for this game? Well, obviously, David Hare's got to be in goal. Uh, very, very good against Watford again, and for me, it was probably man of the match, uh, unless you give it to Fosa Mensa or uh, Rashford. And at the back four, I think it's going to pretty much have to stay similar, uh, apart from whether Chris Smalling comes back in or not. Now, if Reynolds will obviously be at right back, wouldn't put Darmian straight back in. He'll probably come on uh, with 20 or 30 minutes to go. Uh, then it's either going to be Blind and Smalling or Blind and uh, Fosa Mensa for me. I don't think Fosa Mensa will play if Smalling's fit. Although uh, Blind had a really bad game, probably his worst game for Manchester United uh, against Watford. So some may argue that it could be Smalling and Fosa Mensa, but they'll probably go for the experience of Blind and Smalling if Smalling is, in fact, uh, available. And Rojo will again be able to, should be able to continue uh, his recovery from injury with probably at least 70 minutes again. Maybe even complete the full 90 in this game. Now, moving into the uh, the wings, I would again like to see Memphis Depay and Martial out wide. Uh, neither of them had their best games uh, against Watford. Uh, Memphis Depay probably uh, a bit worse than Martial, but you know, I, I want to see Mar um, Memphis get a run of games. He's been better in Europe than in the Premier League, but I'm still hopeful that he will uh, improve on his Premier League uh, form. He did play better against Arsenal than he did against Watford, for sure. Uh, Martial only come back from that a couple of games out injured, so hopefully he can get back to, to his best in this game. Now, uh, Schneiden will again be uh, in midfield. I'll keep him there. Definitely got to give him a real run in the, in the Manchester United team. Uh, Herrera wasn't maybe his best in that game, but he'll probably keep his place uh, unless Carrick can come back into the team. But I would prefer to see Herrera in the team. Uh, I do like Herrera. One matter got his uh, goal. That is what you pay for. Quality from the free kick. I know he's been up and down this season, and I'm not too sure whether he'll be here if Jose Mourinho comes in. But quality free kick from one matter. His second free kick uh, in a few weeks uh, after that one against Shrewsbury. Fantastic. Um, that's what changes games, uh, pure quality can um, help you get um, a place in Europe or can help you win the league um, when you're not playing too well and that's what we've seen there. And obviously I would go for Rashford up front, I thought Rashford was one of the, well was probably the best player uh, in the attacking sense for Manchester United and it was actually taught that one matter was actually going to come off before he scored his goal so and the, uh, the pace of uh, Rashford and Martial I think can cause uh, West Brom a lot of problems in this game. Uh, now, West Brom going into this game, obviously on the back of a 2-2 draw, uh, while Leicester, so they should be on a high, and they beat uh, Crystal Palace three goals to two, so they should be on a high, scoring goals. Uh, that's not really the football that you'd associate uh, Tony Pulis with scoring lots and lots of goals, but uh, he gets he gets uh, teams uh, to stay up in the Premier League, keeps them up. Uh, obviously, he can't really take them uh, too much further forward like he did with Stoke. He kept them around just, just below mid-table when he was there, but... Uh, he's, he's a decent manager and I think they're, they're, this is going to be a really hard game for uh, for me. Uh, I think it's going to be tight, but if we can get the Rashford and uh, Martial in the game, I, I think that we can nick, maybe just nick this game.
but I could see it being also being a 1-1 draw or something like that. When we played them at Old Trafford, they were a bit unlucky not to. Uh, West Brom should have actually uh, scored in that game, so we were actually a bit lucky. Casadio Berahino missed a very, very good chance in that game uh, when he came on to make it 1-1, and we went up and scored uh, a second penalty, uh, a second goal in the game there, after Jesse Lingard had um, just put in a, a shot from out the blue, so we were a bit fortunate to win that game. So it's going to be difficult. Hopefully we can get the three points, because if we can get the three points in this game, uh, it will put hopefully put us closer up to the chasing pack because uh, even in Manchester City who have got Aston Villa don't win their game uh, you never know Arsenal are on a really bad run of form at the moment and they've got got to go away to Tottenham so who knows could we possibly finish ahead of Arsenal which seemed really really unlikely before if we win and Arsenal were to lose we would actually only be a point behind Arsenal which would be absolutely fantastic considering where we were uh, around December Anyway, let me know your thoughts ahead of the game. Who do you see as their, their real problem uh, stopping uh, their players? Uh, and who do you see as the key for Manchester United to win this game? Let me know in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon.